um, dealing with actors and training them for a particular show versus kind of like training, you know, people who just come out to your course or your class? Uh, at first I thought yeah, I was going to show these guys how to tap rack bang and they can do mm-hmm. the thing. But um, uh, what, what happened, which I didn't plan on happening, is I fell in love with uh, their their trade or their being the them being artists um, okay real quick I think before, was, before, before we go into that sorry my bad just so that people have some context can kind of just throw out their rattle off just some of this like a couple of shows that you kind of advise for and train for or uh on. i helped out right i helped out with omar epps and ryan Philippi with shooter for a couple seasons they came out and trained live fire, and then we also talk uh, tactics and we look at their, their screenplays, so on and so forth. Um, I was able to work with the opening scene um, for a movie for The Rock um, and Skyscraper. Oh. It was a tactical scene and whatnot. I um, was able to sit down and talk with him uh, for a few days on, you know, why is he doing what he's doing, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and then... Um, Worked with um, Michael B. Jordan with Wat Morse. Um, probably worked with him a lot. We're going on almost four and a half, five years. But yeah. 2019, golly, time's flying. But um, he, he he trains. He comes out and trains once, twice a year. Yeah. Um, uh, he he really believes in understanding the whole thing aspect of it. But with him, I probably I probably did more with him. And that and that one project without remorse, because kind of went from from A to Z with it as far mm-hmm. as screenplay, character development. Got work with the cast. Um, that was really fun. Uh, so it, it's it was uh it was a it was something I was not expecting to really really enjoy to the point where I also I fell in love with it. Mm. Um. Now I will say, uh, Ryan, Omar, um, uh, Victor Webster, uh, who else? Michael B. Jordan, uh, Jamie Bell, uh, Todd Lance. All these guys were stand-up folks. I mean, we'll get DMs, text to this day, all of them, yeah. Uh, yeah. out of the blue. Yeah. Uh, Omar Epps is probably one of the best. I mean, that guy will return phone calls. If you have a question about some, he'll do his best. If he, he'll he'll return it within twelve hours, guaranteed, with some kind of at least answer solution. Genuine good people. Ryan Philippi, if he's around, um, he's he's come over for for dinner when he's in San Diego shooting something. Um, these are really cool people. What I love about him, and you ask the difference between you know training military and whatnot. Their worth ethic is unbelievable. Some of the hardest work I've done has been um, not just training, with, but being on set. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Eight hours is like eight hours yeah. nonstop. It's not like no brace of eight hours. Wow. Um, you got an executive producer standing over your head going, hey, time's money. He ain't joking. Um, but they work their butts off and um, they're constantly asking you questions. You better have a solution. Um, so after leaving the military, you kind of lose that love for like that intensity, you know, yeah. that goal. Uh, working with these guys in, in in that industry, in the film industry, has kind of rekindled that. Um, now, at the end of the day, <laughs> as a good friend of mine says, who uh, he's an, an advisor, remember, we're making a movie. So they'll ask you how this would actually go down or what you think about this. And you'll give that, you know, I'll give that honest, candid, you know, uh, answer. But at the end of the day, (laughs) when a guy who's paying for the film says, nah, I want to do this. You're like, oh, my gosh, it's going to go that way. (laughs) So if your feelings are so tied up, like, that's not how it would go, then you're not going to like it. But um, for the most part. The guys I deal with, they they understand. They have respect for so like your military genre movies, whatnot. So they want to do it correctly. Um, so it's fun. I love it. I mean, I definitely thought it was pretty cool because I I started watching shooter. I started watching shooter pretty late, 
Um, and what was very interesting was being able because you, you didn't you didn't um, uh, going over court, you didn't advise on the on the front half of the series. I'm assuming no. it was back in, and I and I noticed it. <laughs> uh, I watched. I remember watching the first couple of seasons, and uh, and then all of a sudden, weapon hand, weapons handling, just maneuvering the way they move, rifle setup, things like that. I'm like, that looks very. Fucking, I'm like, oh yeah, fuck advice for this. And so I was like, I st- it was really cool just to watch the kind of the transitioning going from, because I'm not saying the first episode, first two seasons were bad in terms of weapons handling, but right. you definitely saw a stark contrast in terms of the way they handled the gun, the way they just felt really comfortable. They looked like they felt comfortable with the guns in their hands in a way. Now, that- keep, uh, keep in mind, um, I think I went on set one time just to mm-hmm. say hi and observe. Mm-hmm. I was never on set. Gotcha. During the filming of the episodes, mm. they can't. So this is this is where you know you get you really have to look at these guys, um, and really have to be you know what they're talented because yeah. especially like like Omar and Ryan can shoot. They can shoot. There, there, there's no like, oh, you just say point pointing. No, they figure things out. They use a trimmer three. They're asking questions. They can shoot. Um, but what they're doing is, I may have had them for four or five days mm-hmm. before the season started. So everything you saw was they, they captured in those four or five days and retained it mm-hmm. because Ryan was a producer and Omar was right there, had a lot, had an influence. They made sure. They were doing everything they're supposed to do. Gotcha. Yep. And I saw it. So, um, and that aspect, I was just training. That's it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, because I saw it, and I was like, "Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty cool." Like, I, I kind of like that one. Um, and then the same thing goes with uh, without remorse. I definitely saw a ton of your influence in that one, but I think that kind of <laughs> goes without saying. Um, but it, you know, it's enjoyable to kind of know you going through the, some of the training that you trained myself, and then being able to see some of that play out. In, in, in movies and in right. different shows. Um, so I think that that's pretty cool, at least for me. You know, we talk a lot about empowerment in this country, except for when it comes to the Second Amendment. However, I can't think of anything more empowering than having the most effective tool to protect you and your family. So help me spread this message by liking and sharing this video with everyone you know. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment because the Second Amendment, when it said militia, it wasn't talking about the government. It was talking about you. Also, if you want to know where to find the I'm the Militia shirt and merchandise, click the I'm the Militia link in the description section of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, make sure you hit that bell symbol.